Welcome everyone, Costine here on Serious Gaming with my playthrough of Game of Thrones by Telltale. This game is based off the show, it follows uh, the canon of the show versus the canon of the books. Now I'm a huge book fan, I've, watched, I've read all the books, I've watched all the episodes of the show, very familiar with the universe, I know quite a bit, uh, and I'm really looking forward to the next book by from George R. R. Martin, less so with the next season of the show, I'm not a huge fan of the show. First season I liked it just fine, after that turned into a pile of crap. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood... Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had a hand in it, you know. A <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> you think he's lying? No one never lets the truth stand in the way of a good story. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. To Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, 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 King in the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! The North remembers! Aye! Aye! Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. 
Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. And I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Fetch <laughs> more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd think he was the Lord the way he hands out orders. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. Aye, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around that fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Yes, the Red Wedding. Just a point, in the books, the Starks were never gonna march and cast really rock. Why? Because it's a fucking impregnable Take fortress. Your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Strutting into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <laughs> but what about. What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? Just don't need a fucking run. We have to warn the others. Warn them about what? There's no time to explain. We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. What a great start to a game. Alright, quick time event. I'm moving. Yes. Garrett, we have to get back. Get through the king. All right. Got the shield. See how we can use it. Ready, boys. Whoa! Shoot that one. 
One down. Oh. Well, not so fast. Get out of here. Yes, 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 yes. I'll be fine. My lord. Find a weapon quickly. Oh, great, more phrase. Oh, nope, not so fast, it would seem. Go, my lord, while there's still time. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time to <gasps> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. You have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> 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 We love to hold the fray. Well, okay. So be it then. Oh! Right, the intro from the show. Because this is an HBO licensed game, I imagine. Does have the HBO logo and all of that. So, King's Landing. There's some problems with the frame rate in the cinematic. The twins? Okay. The wall, interesting. Ironwood. 
iron from ice. And so it begins. We start to do the red wedding, and that's a proper. Forester lands the king's road. Just like that. I mean, it would take weeks of travel, and if he's on his on foot, then even longer. And how did he get the weapon sheaf, I have to wonder? Alright, well, Questine here on Serious Gaming, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more.